What's up guys, Deranged Asylum, back bringing you another achievement guide. Yet again we're in the evil within, the achievement we're going for is not part of the job description. This is for rescuing Kidman, while Joseph not taking any damage at all. Now I would advise doing this on easy, because on survival you don't get as much ammo, it's harder to take down the enemies. Most of my guides have been on survival, but for this one I've had to dip down on the difficulties to easy. This shouldn't affect your survival as long as you have save points. But yeah, you're going to want the shotgun, pistol, and you're going to want to be very accurate. So as you see straight away, I take the first guy down, jump down, and you're going to just want to start working on the enemies, anyone that gets anywhere near Joseph. You're going to want to be reloading all the time. You're going to have to deal with a variety of enemies in this area. You will reach a checkpoint halfway through and there is a save point right before the start of this, so you can reload. You can also wait till a new game where you will have a rocket launcher, a machine gun, though I didn't want to wait. So there is a random ammo scattered around. You see I get quite close to him getting hit and get very lucky. So right, if you take damage, as long as Joseph doesn't take any, so you want to be quite accurate, you see I took those two out with the headshots. And then looking around constantly for enemies to get anywhere near Joseph, he will take damage. I take quite a lot during this achievement. But the main objective is keeping Joseph from taking any damage. He can be healed, but it will neglect it will neglect uh, negate the achievement. You can't you can't heal him yourself and count the achievement. So you see here I'm constantly grabbing ammo. Reloading my guns. There's another opportunity there. I almost cost myself the achievement. You will get a few of these guys, enemies holding dynamite sticks. You want to take them out, they're easy to take out. You want to maybe shoot them in the legs to chop them to the floor. You do also have these grenades. I don't think I use any during this achievement run. But you can use grenades also. I have only one explosive bolt, which I won't use till later on. So you now I've played out all the ground floor enemies. I'm just waiting for the ones to start appearing up the top. You'll hear a loud crash and then start making your way up the side here. There'll be four enemies, I think four or five enemies coming up here. You're using your shotgun and set fire to them as much as you can. If nothing else, it stops other enemies coming at you because they can't come through the fire without killing themselves. Always try and aim for the head. And don't get too close once the guy with the dynamite hits the floor because it will still go off. There'll be one more guy up here. There's two guys with dynamite. This is the last one. And try and grab as much ammo as you can. Is that, is that it? I think still so now I'm back down on the ground floor. And there are going to be some bigger... There are at least two big enemies. You were talking about the enemies with masks going to reappear now. And these are quite annoying to take down. So this one gets right up to me and hits me and takes my health right down. And this is where I'm going to break out the explosive bolt and aim it at the big guy. I get lucky because I take a good shot there, almost kills both of them. But it lowers their health enough that I can kill them now. I get another achievement there, I think that's for killing a certain amount of enemies. And now I'm just using my pistol to work on this big guy. Joseph's helping out. At this point he does seem to avoid the big enemies, so... And you see how I've walked away and he doesn't seem to be taking any damage from them. Yeah, it is a hard achievement, it's a tricky achievement. It's the hardest achievement I've come across yet. Because Joseph likes to engage with the enemies, they certainly go for him. You want them really to come for you. So you have one more big guy left. And I hit him with a pickaxe. And now you're going to get two more guys with dynamite on the ground floor, so my previous attempt, I got to the last guy and turned and he was in front of me and blew me up and killed me. So be careful for these two guys. I think Joseph might take out the other guy. And that's... well, here, yeah, here he is. So I drop him to the floor. And that should be the final enemy. The achievement won't pop though until you actually physically rescue Kidman. So Joseph's going to want you to go off and find where the wire leads to switch off the device. So after engaging with Joseph, 
You're going to want to walk through the door straight across from where I am. And you're going to find two enemies in here. They both have dynamite. You'll see that I get very lucky because I'm very low on ammo now. I hardly have any ammo at all. So once you smash through these crates, there's going to be an enemy through the gate with a piece of dynamite. As you see, I tried to shoot the, the canister on the floor and miss. Shoot him in the head and I get lucky here because he throws the dynamite against the gate and blows himself up. So we go around here. To the right, don't open any of the gates up. Letting any of the enemies out. There's going to be another dynamite dude at the end here. And as you'll see, I completely miss my shot and have to dodge him. First of all, I dodge the dynamite. And then I'm going to make my way past him somehow. But you, if you have enough ammo, you can kill him quite easily. So go under the wall and up the staircase. And when you reach the top, you're going to find the box you need to disarm the trap. The and the first digit is 22, and the second one is 5. And once you've done that, the trap's disarmed, and you'll get the achievement. 25 gamer score, not part of the job description. Either try it in New Game Plus with your machine gun and your rocket launcher, or lower your difficulty to easy, and use your reload points. Thanks for watching.